In this video, I'm going to talk about the rotate tool in AutoCAD a little bit. So I have a couple of basic shapes here to illustrate my point. It's my handy 12 inch by 12 inch polyline um, square here. And then I just have a simple triangle that's three feet by four feet with the line connecting just to show you how this works. So to rotate, first of all, is very similar to how the other modified commands work. So first I'm going to pick rotate, and then CAD down in the command line will be asking me what objects do I want to rotate. So I'm going to select my square, and when I'm done selecting, I must hit enter. That tells CAD that I'm done with that part of the process. Then just like move and copy, we need to specify the base point. So I will select this lower left hand corner. When I do that, I can actually go in and I'll turn ortho off to illustrate this and just spin it around. You know, I could spin it around and say, that looks good. You know, so if you were doing something where the precise measurements didn't matter, you just wanted to rotate some furniture in a floor plan view or something like that, you could do it that way. But if I want to be more specific, I can actually go in and type in a degree measurement. So I'm just going to undo that. And then I will say rotate. I'm going to pick my square and hit enter. And then I will pick the base point. But this time, instead of just arbitrarily rotating it, I'm going to put in a measurement. So here I could say, for example, 45 degrees, just 45, enter, and it rotated it 45 degrees at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna undo that. If I wanted to do it at like a specific angle that I wasn't sure about, I could actually come in and do that. So what I'm gonna do is move my square from this lower left hand corner and snap it to the end of this triangle so they're overlapping like that because what I want to do is rotate my square so that it matches this angle of the triangle. So I will do rotate, select the square, hit enter, and pick this lower base point and this is exactly the same process that I did before. But this time instead of saying I want to spin it any particular direction or typing in a degree measurement like we did the last time, I'm going to type in R for reference. We're going to be doing a reference angle. So I'll do R, enter. So what I need to do is say what is my starting angle and then where do I want that to go. So what I do then is click this initial point and then I'll click either the midpoint or the end point, it doesn't really matter, right here. That's my starting angle. That's my reference angle. And now I'm going to pick my new angle. And what I can do is now come up and just snap to a point on this line, like the midpoint. And my uh, 12 inch by 12 inch square is now perfectly in line with the um, end of my triangle because of using the reference angle in the rotate command. 